automatically collect payments by pre-authorized debit for recurring and standalone invoices using GoCardless. In this video, we will show you how to set up recurring and standalone invoices. To assign pre-authorized debit to your invoices, you must set up GoCardless integration. If you haven't already done this, you can do so in Settings, then Apps and Connections. Please visit Sage University or our Help Center for more guidance and a video tutorial. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have GoCardless integration set up, and we are ready to create invoices. To create a new recurring invoice, navigate to Sales in the top menu bar, then click Sales Invoices. Then select the Recurring Invoices tab. Click New Recurring Invoice. Select a customer with an active mandate. Then complete the recurring frequency and when the recurring invoice should start and end. Enter the invoice due date information to ensure there's enough advance warning of the pre-authorized debit payment collection. The due date of the invoice needs to be more than three days after the invoice date. Choose how you'd like each recurrence to be created. In the Payment Services section, select this checkbox to use the pre-authorized debit for this customer. The payment will be automatically taken by pre-authorized debit on the invoice due date selected. For example, if you have set up the recurrence to be every month, with the due date 30 days after the invoice date, your customer will be charged automatically 30 days after the invoice date each month. This will continue until you cancel the recurrence, or until this reaches the end date set. If you're unsure about any of the setup options for your recurring invoice, learn more by clicking the Setup Card Payments link. Complete your invoice details as usual. Once you're happy with the invoice, click Save. A message appears with confirmation of the pre-authorized debit. If you'd like to continue and set up the pre-authorized debit, click here. Compose the invoice email and click Save. The invoice now appears on your recurring invoices list. Once the invoice has been created on each recurrence, the invoice will show in the Sales Invoices list too. Click on the invoice line to view the detail of the invoice. Confirmation of the pre-authorized debit appears in the upper right-hand corner. If you would like to view this payment in Go Cardless, you can easily do this. In GoCardless, navigate to the Payments drop-down and then click Payments from the list. The customer, invoice number, source, and payment information are confirmed. Back in Sage Accounting, once the payment has been collected, this will automatically allocate to the invoice, showing your customer invoice as paid. When you create a one-off invoice, you can set up a pre-authorized debit payment for this too. Navigate to Sales in the top menu bar, then click Sales Invoices. To set up a new invoice, click here. Choose your customer from the drop-down list. Please note your customer must have a pre-authorized debit set up in the GoCardless settings to be able to pay by pre-authorized debit. Complete your invoice detail as usual. At the bottom, you can see a Payment Services section. If you would like this invoice to be paid automatically by pre-authorized debit, select this checkbox to save your invoice and automatically collect payment on the invoice due date. Save the invoice using one of the available options. A message appears with confirmation of the pre-authorized debit. If you'd like to continue and set up the pre-authorized debit, click here. Your invoice has been saved. Confirmation of the pre-authorized debit appears here. Let's look at how pre-authorized debit payments appear in the bank account. Navigate to Banking in the top menu bar. Here you'll see a GoCardless bank account. All payment activity will appear in this bank account. To view the activity, click on the bank account tile. Any pending payments will appear here too. You can see the payment from your customer and the fee taken from Go Cardless. The Payout tab shows the amount actually paid by Go Cardless, which is the pre-authorized debit value minus any fees.
this could be a cumulative value for several invoice payments. Once the activity is recorded in the Go Cardless Bank account, the customer invoice is automatically marked as paid. When there has been a payout and the money has been received in full, a transfer transaction will appear. This moves the money from the Go Cardless Bank account to your chosen bank account. You have now learned how to set up pre-authorized debit payments on your invoice using Go Cardless.